Welcome to the new sensory laboratory of the Fondazione Edmund Mack. Here we study the sensory quality of food, that is, the quality that can be perceived through the, through the five senses. If you think that a consumer, the properties perceived by the consumer uh, through their senses can um, influence their food choice and their diet, uh, you understand how important is our, our, our work and our activity. In this laboratory, we try to interpret and predict consumers' liking in order to support the development of new products and to investigate uh, the productive processes to uh, um, identify objectively the peculiarities of typical products and um, to monitor the variation of food over time. To evaluate the sensation perceived during food consumption directly, we use groups of trained panel, trained panels, and groups of ordinary people, consumer panels. The laboratory is cutting edge and it's equipped with advanced facilities that make it an international reference center. Now, let me guide you in a virtual tour of the sensory laboratory. The heart of the sensory laboratory is the individual evaluation laboratory equipped with 22 booths where every panelist can work independently following the instruction delivered on a screen. Data are managed by a specialized software that allows to follow panel activity and to process the responses in real time. The environment is strictly controlled in order to avoid any alteration in the evaluations. The panelists work silently and every booth has a vacuum system for air turnover to avoid odor stagnation. Every booth has also three different lights that can be switched on as a function of the analysis performed. This is the teaching room with 48 tasting places dedicated to sensory analysis classes where students learn what sensory analysis is and how the senses work. The room is also used by food experts, like for instance enologists, who meet here and taste and evaluate the sensory quality of wines. This is the panel training laboratory. During the first phase of the tuning of the evaluation method, a very important moment is represented by the group work performed around this table. This activity defines the vocabulary and the tasting procedures that will be used in the description of products. In the laboratory, there are also some individual booths similar to those placed in the individual evaluation laboratory. Here, cognitive tests are performed that focus on people performing the tasting rather than on the product itself. In particular, with this test, we evaluate the mechanisms guiding the perceptive and cognitive processing underlying consumer product interaction. This is the instrumental laboratory equipped with advanced facilities. Here we perform instrumental analysis that give us chemical data about the composition of a product, physical data about its structure and information about its appearance. These data correlate with sensory properties of the product. That's why we use them to effectively predict sensory perception. In the laboratory we have also an instrument that performs an analysis by using a groundbreaking technique of max spectrometry that allows to monitor the volatile compound responsible for aroma release by food or during food consumption. Additionally, we have instruments that allow to predict sensory parameters like product hardness, elasticity or crispness by recording the product response to deformation with mechanical or acoustic curves also, we have an electronic eye that collects and processes images to investigate food shape and color.